Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Teela here and you know this is my face who almost was the last time you saw my face today. Well actually the last bit would have been the last time you see my face today. But um <coughs> if you would like this story time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give me this video a big thumbs up and whack that notification bell if you want to see more videos. Uh so this video was not intended, but I thought that I would do it because, you guys, I seriously, like, oh my god, okay. So, we were just under a tornado warning, and, is it warning? Watch. Okay, whichever the tornado warning or watch, which one, whichever one is the one that, you know, where you see a tornado, my family's and my phone started going off with this alarm. You guys, I really, I, oh my goodness. This is story time if you guys couldn't tell. Um, and the background you know this is where i was scared i was crying my chest was blotchy i'm in my bathtub filming this for you guys because this is where i was and i don't know who told me that if you know besides getting in the bathtub like if you have cushioning because you're supposed to cover your head but you know if you have something like hard come in and you know hit you and you're under hard stuff but that's really going to be worse for you so I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like and you know shout out to my little friend here my owl um so I don't even know how to start this because I'm just so I feel like I'm still in shock because I almost had a panic attack slash anxiety attack <sighs> I guess before I get into what happened here, I'm going to give a little bit of insight to, you know, my whole fear in tornadoes because <clears throat> for as long as I can remember, even for a drill, for a drill, whether it was, you know, real, not real, anything in school, even up to high school, like, I get extremely scared of tornadoes. Like, I will sit there and I will be that person, like, hugging myself, crying, needing teachers to calm me down because it's it's the whole, like, idea and anxiety about it, even with the drills. Like, I'm really, really bad about it. Like, I'd actually much rather do a fire drill instead of a tornado drill or, like, a hurricane drill or, you know, tsunami, anything. I would do... I would prefer anything other than a tornado. Like, I'm terrified of tornadoes. I've seen the damage that they can do in, like, science classes. And I've looked at, you know, what, um, like, damage around us. And as it is, there, there has never been a tornado. Whichever one is the tornado where you can see it, there has never been one since I moved to Texas, which was almost five years not once in five years has there been like a tornado spotted so i was terrified when my alarm started going off um so i looked at it because i heard my mom's first and i went out to the garage because that's where she smokes um cigarettes smoke cigarettes um you guys are probably gonna hear a lot and a lot of panicking in this video that you probably didn't know about my family so yeah, I went out to the garage and she's like, take shelter now, take shelter now. And I'm like, don't tell me this is happening. Please, Lord, do not let this happen. I was praying. And oh my goodness, you guys, I took footage of what I did like after we were told that, you know, the tornado stuff was gone. Like, gone, gone. I made sure it was gone. I, I made sure. <sighs> I took footage of what we did with all of our pets because we have um, guinea pigs, a rabbit, dogs, and cats. And, you know, we have two bathrooms, we have closets, pantry, crates, all that kind of stuff. And honestly, the animals I was the most worried for was uh, our two dogs, Candy and Caramel slash Bubby and Sissy, because I couldn't fit them anywhere. I couldn't fit them anywhere so I literally I put like the kitchen table, um, the, uh, the other dog food bags, the chairs, trash can, 
mops, anything like to barricade them in by the pantry. And then after that, I grabbed the four other dogs and I moved them to this bathroom where I'm at. Um, and then I brought my bedding in here. Then I put my rabbit hazel in my closet and like made a barricade of stuff around her to make her secure. Um, and then my sister and I, my younger sister and I, we went into my middle sister's room, Bethany's room. Um, so my middle sister's Bethany, younger sister's Annalise. So Annalise and I went into Bethany's room. We went in and we got, you know, her cat Oscar's uh, food, water, cat bots, and bed and put that all in her closet and put the cat in her closet. Um, her two guinea pigs, we stacked their cages and put it by the door and like barricaded it with her bed, um, the vacuum cleaner and her little trash can and chair and everything. And then Annalise, she put some of her guinea pigs in my mom's room and then the, her other two guinea pigs in uh, her closet because they can't be together like they'll mate and they'll also fight. So we had to figure our way really, really fast. And you know, that's, that's what we came up with. And then all of our cats got put into the other bathroom because like this is the master bathroom even though it doesn't really look like a master bathroom. But the other bathroom is where we put the cats and we have four cats. <sighs> you guys. I straight out told my mom and my sister like I'm not hiding anywhere until these animals are secure because it's always been my biggest fear like what are we gonna do if a tornado hits and you know we have all of these animals this is the one time where I would be like oh my gosh I don't want to have a ton of animals whoo you guys I need to breathe I'm still scared. I'm probably not going to sleep well tonight. Like, I'm actually scared. I'm going to be editing this and uploading this tonight. So, like, my grandparents' vlog, my hairstyle video, my cool finds video, all of that's going to have to wait because this kind of trumps all of that because I really feel like I got to get this out and, you know, tell people. Because I'm just like, oh, my God, I hate tornadoes. I hate tornadoes. I don't like tornadoes. So, after all the animals were considered to be you know barricaded or you know safely secured um i went around and i locked every single window in the house we have those little just like dainty flip locks i don't really know what that would do with a tornado but i just need to feel more secure so i locked all the windows like in all the bedrooms bathrooms um the kitchen the living room and then we also have what is it like three locks on our front back door so there's like the knob lock the deadbolt and then we have like a little hinge lock on the very top I also turned the alarms on on our doors. I don't really know what that was going to do, but once again, I needed to feel more secure. So then I started freaking out even more as I was like, there's not a place for, you know, my mom, Annalise, and I to all, like, squish into. Because our, our house, I swear, it was made by someone that did not know how to do architecture. Like, I could not stand the way this house was put together. So... You know, my mom went into the other bathroom. I don't know where Annalise went. Uh... I'm really, I'm not sure where she went because I came in here, I sat in the tub with all of my bedding, like seriously, all of my bedding. You guys, when I say all of my bedding, I do mean all of my bedding, like pillows and the whole nine. You see my loofah, it's on my armpit, I'm sorry. But I put all my bedding in here. Um, like I said, someone told me that, you know, if you have to like hide in your bathtub or your closet, like, bring something soft with you like to cushion yourself because even though you can like use your you know your arms over your head you can also use like you know your pillow or blanket or something like put it over you and like you protect your head like that i was in here with my dogs and i was just like i called my sister uh bethany and i was like dude i don't know what to do i'm so scared like what what are we gonna do and she's like calm down you're fine it's gonna be okay, just don't fight, just tell each other that we love each other, and it's gonna be okay. And I am like the, I am a baby when it comes to storms, and I'm not even ashamed to admit this, because like I said, for as long as I can remember, anything that's to do with tornadoes, especially in school, I cry, and I become basically the biggest wussy there ever is, but I, I'm terrified of tornadoes, like I'm scared of them so i'm sitting in here i get off the phone with bethany and i text my family group chat messenger because we all have a family group chat where we you know stay in contact with one another and you know i'm like guys i'm so so scared right now i don't know what to do like i feel like i'm having a panic attack 
And I actually got to the point where I actually was starting not be able to breathe and I was in this bathroom. I'm like, okay, it's gonna be all good. We're fine. I'm fine. But then my dog Angel came up, she started licking me and kissing me and even though, you know, that makes me itch and everything because like their food has gluten in and she licks me and gluten gets on me and I get itchy. Um, I let her because that actually calms me down quite a bit. She's not a service dog, but she does the job, which makes me curious as to if she was a service dog beforehand. But anyways, with my anxiety, I get splotches um, on my chest and especially if I'm like really anxious or I feel like I'm under pressure. I get splotches all over my chest, so like when I got up, I, when I got up and looked in the mirror or whatever, um, I was all splotchy, like my eyes were puffy, they're probably still a little puffy, they feel dry because I cried quite a bit, probably more than my mom, um, and then I hear my mom talking like through to the door and I couldn't hear her, she's like, it's over, Keely. You can come out. And I, I, I just said, Mom, I'm scared. I don't want to come out of the bathtub. I'm terrified. Like, how do we know it's gone? And she's like, it's gone. The warning's gone. You can come out with the dog. So I got out. I still will not go by the windows. Um, I am not going to exit this house until I see some sunlight. Even my mom called one of her um, older best friends from back home, which is Wisconsin, um, because like I guess every storm that she's ever almost endured she's always called this friend and I'm not gonna say her name because I don't have her permission to say it in these videos it's 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 over um, and my mom's telling me like you know thunder and lightning are good seeing birds in the sky are good um, as long as we hear something it's good but once it gets quiet again that's when we gotta you know get our get our stuff together um, and now I'm pretty much just like trying to self comfort myself because I'm probably not going to sleep well tonight and I may, I may be 20 years old but storms scare me. Like legitimately they scare me. I, I don't like them. I never have really and you know the one time that I found it fascinating that there was a tornado was um, I don't think anyone's going to know what this is unless you're from my hometown. So in my hometown, we had a store called Century, and it was like Century Movie Gallery. Um, it was like a sub place and a China buffet and everything, and like this little, like how a strip mall is set up, it, it was like that. And the sky was green, and you could see like the swirls in the sky, and you could see the black dot where the eye of the tornado was. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, mommy, that's so cool. And mom was like, oh, sweetie, that's not cool. And she literally just picked me up and started running me into Walmart. If I'm not mistaken, that was the day we were getting my birthday cake. But I could be wrong because that was such, it was such a long time ago. Like, I don't even think that century exists anymore because that, that was in my hometown. But a lot of stuff kind of changed. That is great because I, I was praying so much and... I kept talking to myself and asking for reassurance and praying that it was a storm and I am still praying that everyone is safe because the tornado did touch down about maybe 15 minutes away from me. Um, literally right in the next, I guess you would call it a town over. God is great. I hope that no one got really, really hurt because like I said, we haven't had one of these happen. Um, within the five years that we've been here and I've never heard anyone talk about it. Like I said, God is great. You know, I, I was praying, like in the middle of having an anxiety attack, a panic attack, having the splotches on me, crying, weeping, hugging my dog, my dog kissing me. Um, I don't think I've ever been so thankful for everything that I have and the family that I have and my pets and I don't even care about cell phones like electronics. Like, I am just thankful for my mom, my sisters, my grandparents, my aunt, my cousins, my pets. Like, I'm even thankful for the people that watch my channels. They're probably like, oh my gosh, this girl's crazy. But I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person like this when it comes to tornadoes because, like, I seriously, like, even my face is hot. Dang, my face is hot. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm thankful for everything that I have now and 
this really was a freaking eye opener for me. So I tell you guys, my family and I have been fighting so much. Um, we're not the perfect family by any means. We've been fighting a lot. So to have this self-realization, like, holy crap, I could have just lost my family. I could have just, we could have just lost each other, you know, and never seen each other again. I'm thankful for what I have and I'm never going to regret that ever again. Ever. It's... It's not gonna happen. Like, I know my family loves me. I love my family and I love my pets. And I know, like, I love everyone in this world. I don't care if I don't know you. Like, I love you. You're you're special, you're important. And even if something like this happened and you were gone, I know that everyone would miss you. And I know that, you know, that's kind of crazy to say because there's a lot of people that I don't know and I'm pretty antisocial. Like, you know, I was even telling my best friend and I was trying to make sure that, you know, her and her family were safe, you know, there are times where you're going to realize that there's more important things than your social media, your um, YouTube channels, your electronics, your Beats headphones, Jordan shoes. Like there's more important things out there and things that are going on. And for those of us in my hometown, we really just got an eye opener. And I don't know how many people here actually took it seriously, but I did. Um... And I hope that the next time that people, you know, go through this, that they take it more seriously. Because I don't think anyone was taking it that serious. But once again, I'm thankful for everything. This is the story time. And I think it's the first story time on my channel. So we're going to see how this goes. Because, you guys, I'm literally, like, filming, editing, freaking out. And I'm probably not going to sleep tonight all in one day. It's stressful, but <sighs> thank the Lord that we are all still here because I am telling you guys, I'm so scared. I'm still scared. You guys get the gist. I'm still scared. So without further ado, I'm going to end this story time. If you guys have a, I guess, tornado scare or some type of story time that you would like to share, or if you have one posted on your YouTube channel and you'd like me to look at it and think I would be entertained, um, feel free to leave that down in the comments in the comment section down below. Um, if you found this video interesting or if you can connect with me on some level, then please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me. And now that I've sounded like a crazy emotional woman, I guess, um, I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully less like a mess, because I'm seriously just, I'm a mess. Don't worry about it, it's okay. Alright, bye you guys.